Thank you very much, Councillor Vershaw, and uh, thank you very much to our expert panel. Um, I'm sure everybody would acknowledge that this has been an extremely informative and educational morning uh, where we've looked at many aspects. And uh, I uh, would just like to, some of Bridget's comments, of course, were regarding that uh, light rail or trams is uh, very much a city building endeavour. Uh, I think it's, it's critical to acknowledge, critical to acknowledge. And Alton's views about the economic uplift and how it was interconnecting universities and retail centres and residential density and a whole range of things on the Gold Coast was equally important. Uh, Darren's views about uh, what's happening underground is just as critical as what's happening above the ground when we look at these projects and of course the options we have associated with funding them, which is important. Joe's extrapolation on uh, value capture options, which is quite interesting. And I think that was one thing which we were all looking forward to listening to and learning about, about what are the various options and intricacies associated with value capture and what does it mean and who benefits and over what period of time. So uh, I think that's an important topic which we will all mutually explore together. Um, the Minister's views about the absolute imperative for uh, local government and state government to collaborate on matters such as this and of course also for federal government and the insights into the, uh, certainly the, the atmosphere at the federal government level uh, in terms of the uh, growing conversation about the opportunity for assistance in this space is absolutely critical. So I think we've had a very good uh, holistic conversation about the various moving parts of light rail or trams, I'm going to call them trams, and uh, what it means, what it potentially means to Adelaide, uh, what it means to our future and what it means to the growth of our city. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you kindly uh, for donating your time and your voice and your expertise. Uh, it's been greatly appreciated and thank you very much to our interstate guests uh, and our local guests. Um, this really has been a terrific start and it is the first time that we've all sat in the room together to kick this off. So um, I think that in itself is a very, very worthwhile outcome. Shortly after 1pm, I'm inviting the mayors in the room and uh, the CEOs in the room from local government to stay back for a separate session. Uh, and we're going to have a good debate with the minister to look at a local government role. Because, of course, the minister's got $4 million on the table. Uh, and the purpose of that project is to do a study. And uh, I would very much, as you do, want to ensure that local government is feeding into that project. Uh, and that will be looking at various parts of this, but that is the next step. So the Minister is looking for our voice, and uh, the Minister alluded to that he'd very recently, I think as recently as this week, written to each of the mayors and CEOs at local government level in South Australia, Metropolitan, uh, to uh, seek those views. So this afternoon's discussion is going to be critical to that. So I think I'll hand back to our Chair, and I'll thank you very much indeed for your time and your uh, interest in this very important topic. Thank you.